what up guys we are back in the channel just so you guys know and get before I go over into the video um, I'm a huge baseball fan I love the Dodgers and this trade has been happening for quite a while for time you know uh, the Mookie Betts trade and it's confirmed it's official um, there's a lot of elements that go into play with this I want to break it down for all you guys all right, guys, so I want to break down the first trade into the second trade and, like, what everything means and how it's in a roundup. And just to break down, like, the, the the troubles and everything about that. So, we start off with the first trade. It's a three-way trade. The Dodgers uh, gain bets, uh, monkey bets, David Price, and cash from the Red Sox. The Red Sox um, gain Verdugo and Bruzard from the Twins. Um... The relief pitcher, a fastball thrower, um, and the twins get Kenta Maeda. Um, now that that deal was to be followed with a promised trade for the Dodgers and Angels. Dodgers would get uh, Luis, the infielder, uh, from the Angels, and the Angels would get Jock Peterson and Ross Stripling. Um, now we're going to go into why everything fell apart and what happened. So, let's start off with the big one. Obviously, the monkey best trade and everything. So, this, what happens is that, so the physicals come up, Bruce Dard, um, um, how do you call it, medical reviews, um, go to Red Sox, they find out that he's not capable of starting games because of the length of his arm. He can't go that long, which, and they, you know, they, it's meant to be like a damaged goods to them. But we all know that, and I think the Twins knew that he was a reliever. He wasn't like a starting pitcher. So they fall through. The Twins can't give him anything. They fall off. So they can't give him anything, no other prospects, because they're still, you know, they still don't even have pitching. So that delete, that leaves the Dodgers without, without Mickey Best, without Price. So we, this whole standstill is because of the Red Sox and, how, you know, everything was going on. Um, so the Twins have to fall off, fall, fall out of the deal. They want Kenta, but they just can't, they can't get him. The Dodgers, on the other, I mean, the Dodgers and the Angels trade falls apart for the reason that, um, how would you say, um, the Dodgers and the Angels uh, trade falls apart for the reason that because the trade was only promised if the three-way trade was to happen, the three-way trade never happens. The Dodgers realize that the promise was to that. They're not going to deal with it. Also, the Angels were impatient with it. So it kind of, you know, everything just kind of fell apart there. The Dodgers felt that, you know, um, there is no reason. But we'll get into why they felt there is no reason to make this, to finish this deal off. Now, going on to the second part. The Dodgers... Um, yesterday, last, yesterday in the morning, I was at work. I don't need to get into detail on my reaction or anything. But the Dodgers, um, gain Mookie Betts, they get David Price, and they get cash. The same, the same deal would have, you know, they got, right? But the Red Sox now, the Red Sox would get Verdugo, Jeter Downs, and two prospects. Now, Verdugo, we all know what Verdugo is, and I, I didn't talk about him in the first train when I was speaking about the first trade, but I'll speak about him now. Verdugo is a professional man. He's gonna be great for the Red Sox. That you know, he grew up a Red Sox fan. He's gonna do awesome over there. And I hope the Red Sox fans know that they got themselves a player. Hopefully, he's he's great man for them. Uh, but yeah, he's an A plus player. And then you get Jeter Downs. Now Jeter Downs was traded to the Dodgers last season. Um, when the the Reds got Yasuo Puig, now the G, now and the Dodgers got their prospects. One of them would be Jeter Downs. Jeter Downs was in the top 100 prospects, I believe, if not top 100, top 50. Um, but they gave up one of their top prospects. Now we all know is uh, Ruiz, Dustin May, Jeter Downs. Um, who who else? Uh, Gavin Lux and Josiah Gray. If I'm missing someone, I feel like I'm missing someone. Someone I didn't write. I didn't write their names down. But yeah, Jeter Downs is a shortstop. 
He didn't play great. They the Red Sox got themselves a player. I think they they still traded maybe Mookie Best, but at least they got something in return. I mean, they got Verdugo, they got Jeter Downs, and two other prospects. Now, Verdugo's great. Jeter Downs gonna be great. Um, they got two other prospects. That's awesome. Um, now here is the second trade that happened. The Dodgers would have to trade. I mean, the Twins, I should say. The Twins would have to trade Bruce Dard to the Dodgers and a prospect in order to gain Kenta. Now, the Twins would get Kenta and Cash. Now, the reason I could think of this is because the Dodgers are still looking for bullpen help. I mean, they just got David Price. Um, they're going to need someone in the uh, in the playoffs, I should say, in the playoffs um, to take Kenta's spot. They're going to need someone to take Kenta's spot. Uh, Bruzard, they the Dodgers do believe in him. They believe he's not damaged goods. I think no one thinks he's damaged goods except for the Red Sox because they were thinking of him as a starter. So that's that's the reason why the Dodgers are getting him now. Now the Twins, they I, I believe the Twins after the Dodgers made the trade to the Red Sox, the Twins decided, hey, um, we need Kanta. Can we make this happen? Dodgers said, yeah, we'll get a prospect though. We need another prospect. They get it. Dodgers give him cash and Kanta. So that trade still happens now. Out of everything, Dodgers and the Angels trade does not happen. The trade with them does not happen. Now, we'll get into that. So, it all starts with the Jock Peterson. Jock Peterson did not get his arbitration deal. He he um, got denied for arbitration. Which means, instead of making the $9 million, he got $7 million. He's making $7 million this season. Which is $2 million that the Dodgers don't have to pay, which they thought they were going to have to pay. So, that... That that really writes on the deal, and because you got Bruce Dar in the thing, um, might as well just give uh, you know Ross a chicken strip, you know Ross Stripling, you know, because you gave away Jeter down. That's a lot, you know. The the, the Angels have to give you prospects. They're looking because the Dodgers are looking to fill up a prospect spot, um, because they just gave away, I believe, three prospects, Jeter Downs, and two other prospects to the Red Sox. So they're looking for more prospects in that deal. Um, talking about the repercussion, the deal, I don't see a lot for the Dodgers. Um, the Dodgers, I think they got a better deal, even though they gave up Jeter Downs. Jeter Downs is a big prospect. Um, we were all looking forward to him. It's huge. They do give up one pro- one top prospect that they have, which is, I mean, good. They do get a, a bizarre and, and uh, another prospect. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. I haven't really looked into the name and how to say it, but the relief, the reliever for the Twins. They do get him. So, and they do keep Jock and they get him for 7 mil. They keep uh, Ross Stripling. So, for now, they, they're dealing, I think the Dodgers got a better deal out of this. Um, you know, they still get Mookie Betts. They still get David Price. And David Price is reportedly looking like the old Dave, David Price. And he, David Price didn't do well in the National League. I think everybody's been saying that. But now I want to talk about um, some of the other teams, because um, some of those teams don't really get noticed, which I want to talk about the Twins. I want to talk about the Twins right now, and they're, they're, they're getting the starting pitcher of Kenta. Now, we all know Kent, that that trade would have not happened if it wasn't for the Dodgers actually uh, trading gear down. So, the Twins are obviously happy that Dodgers were able to figure this, this trade out, you know, and... They were able to trade Bruzar and then get Kenta. Now, what Kenta adds to this team, we all know the Twins did not have a great starting pitching lineup. Their bullpen was the best part of the game. Um, um, now we go in and now we're having, now the Twins would name Kenta as their number one starter. And Kenta could do it all, man. Um, he's going to give them a lot of breathing room for the for their young pitchers. Um the Twins, they're looking, uh, I always say this, uh, the Central, um, the American Central is is the worst, worst, worst division in it. Because you only, in, in reality right now, you only have the Twins and the Indians. And I'm hoping it's better, it's, it's going to do better than National League West. I mean, the National League West is over. The Dodgers, unless they're, they, knock on wood, they don't get hurt. Um, I just knocked on wood, if you didn't hear that. But they're looking strong. But the Twins, I mean, the Twins look like they're going to they're gonna try to run away with this. Um, they're going to try to run away with the uh, American League Central if the White Sox don't pick it up or the, or the Indians don't pick it up. 
Um, but adding Kanto helps with the playoffs and all that. You know, it very much helps. Um, um, what can I say about the Angels? Man, the Angels. The Angels, the team that's in Anaheim, you know, the freeway series of Dodgers and Angels. We all know that. Now, I've been a big... I, I speak... And, and when I say this, I mean very much. I speak negatively of the Angels. Not because they're another supposedly LA team, but because of the office, man. They do not know... They're, they're, they are as a business are... I believe them as awful. And I hope Angels fans do too. I hope the Angels fans know that their office is horrible. Now, this trade right here about Ross... The, the, the trade that they were about to make for Ross Stripping was about to be one of the best trades that they've done in a while and best deals they've won, done in a while. I mean, they would have gotten a starting pitcher and a bomber like Jock Peterson. It was going to be one, a good trade. I hope the Angels can make this trade happen or make something like this t from another team happen in any way um, just because I believe I believe them and Oakland should be able to beat the Astros this season. And I hope the Angels and I hope the A's can destroy the Astros. But... They, the Angels do need to get their starting pitching up. I don't know if they can get their starting pitching up from Tampa Bay, um, make some deals there, make some deals from maybe get a Chris Archer. That looks, that looks way out, of, out there. Maybe get this trade back on, um, give some more prospects. I don't know what Angel prospects there would be, but um, it's not, it's not um, should I say, the best place um, right now. Right, then they haven't been. I've been saying it this for a very long time since they actually made the deal for Alba Pujols. Alba Pujols is the reason that they suck, man. I think they they're just waiting for Alba Pujols to get his ass out of there, his ass to retire, give him the money, and get the fuck out. Because uh, um, Alba Pujols puts a lot of strain on on their back, on on their back. You know, the strain on their money, the cap, and everything. Uh, they're paying the guy a lot. Doesn't play that often. Designated hitter. They just has me. They just have him as an amusement. Now, do I watch him then because of Albert Pujols? No, I don't even like Albert Pujols. But that's not that's not the point. Um, you know, they got themselves a team. I got pretty mad that they got um they got, they didn't get a deal done with Michael. Oh, it's Mike uh Calhoun. They didn't get a deal with Mike Calhoun, and they got happy because man, they were at least able to you know replace him with a Jock Peterson, a bomber. You know that way they could fight, they compete in the in the West, but that doesn't look like the case now. Um, you know they don't have a pitcher. Their Mike Trout doesn't look like he's gonna win uh, anything. You know, um, but yeah, that's why I wanted to talk about the Angels. I hope the Angels get some stuff done, get some starting pitching done, maybe get another uh, big hitter. You know, in the lineup that that could help a long way. They got Rendon. They got um, Sean Otani. They got Mike Trout. Um, you know, um, they have too many old players, though. They got they have too many old players. I hope the Angels can change that. If not, they're stupid. Once again, but let's go into the deeper one. Um, the Red Sox deal. Now, Red Sox fans are very mad that they just traded Mookie Betts away. Their number, probably one of their best players that they've ever had on their team. You know, and David Ortiz. Um, Manny Ramirez, uh, all Red Sox guys, you know, um, Mookie Best was about to be one of the best Red Sox players of all time, still, still is, um, but now he's going out west, going on to the other sea, to the Dodgers, and this is, um, this is crazy, because Obviously, Red Sox fans are like, "How can you not pay him?" Well, you can't pay him because they're they're over the luxury tax. You know, you're gonna be paying more and more. I now, whose fault is this? Obviously, it's the Red Sox for mismanaging the money. They they're giving a bunch load of money up for like why sign J D Martinez, Xander Bo, uh, 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 Bogart right is getting a lot is gaining tons of money for what I don't know why. Um, you know, these guys are gaining a shit ton of money, um, f almost for no reason. Chris Sale is still there. I think they should have traded Chris Sale instead of, um, 
instead of getting rid of Mookie Betts. I mean, if you want to rebuild, get rid of Chris L, get rid of her pitching, get some more younger pitching. Why trade Mookie Betts? But, you know, it is what it is. They do get Verdugo. They do get Jeter Downs. Um, they did the best that they could with it. I'll um, be honest. I don't even think Mookie Betts wanted to be there anymore. I think he felt like he was getting snubbed out of his money. Not that he want, didn't want to be a Red Sox and, and be with there with the fans, but just the idea of getting snubbed out of your money. I mean, that's the sem- that's something that, that Frankie's going through. You know, Frankie, uh, Francisco Lindor, you know, he's going through right now. Like, he wants to be Indian, but he's getting snubbed out of his money. But that's the same thing I think of um, Mickey Metz right now. He's getting very much snubbed out of money. Um, but the Dodgers, they're hoping they can sign him now. The big thing is that, would they be able to sign him? I mean, oh, you're going to try to sign him, but you're also going to try to sign uh, Cody. You're also going to try to sign Corey. You're also going to try to sign um, uh, Walker Bueller. So you got a lot of these guys that are, that are young, but obviously are going to get that cash. And you know Cody Bellinger is going to get even more money than what Mickey Betts is because Cody Bellinger is younger, stronger, faster, has a, a, a better, better defender, I think. I think... Monkey Best is, is um, I think they're both there. I would say the top five. Now, the Dodgers do now. Let's go into the Dodgers. I'm leaning toward it now. The uh, Dodgers now have two of the top five players in the game, or should I say sluggers in the game. Um, and that's Monkey Betts and Cody Bellinger. And I would say my top five players in the MLB would be, uh, not in this order. I don't want to, but this is my opinion. Not in the order. It's, wait, Mike Trout, Christian Yelich, Cody Bellinger, Mookie Betts, and um, you know the f- the fifth one always goes. You know, like who is the fifth? I used to say Altuve, but after all the scandals, I I lost respect for the guy. Um, but it's it's always hard to say the fifth. Um, you know, you could go with uh Francisco Lindor. You know, um, a Chris Bryant, not really. He's injury prone. But the fifth one's always out there. Um, you know, comment down who's your top five or whatever. But for sure, the, the, for sure the Dodgers have the two best top five players in, in the game today. You know, they're looking like the Yankees right now. They have two of the best American League players on their team. The Dodgers have two of the best National League players on the team now. With uh, Cody Bellinger. And Mookie Betts, obviously the other one being Christian Yelich, but, um, you know, Christian Yelich from Milwaukee. And he doesn't play for a very good manager. So, that's about it, you know. Um, now, what does this give the Dodger lineup and how does this get them to the World Series? Or should I say, back to the World Series and give, him the, give them that championship that they've been looking for? Well, with the lineup that they have, I mean... You're, you're talking about a lineup that's young, that's... Think about think about this. The Dodgers are young. Most of the guys aren't making the money that they're supposed to be making because they're young. Their contracts aren't done. They made most of their, their things off trades. They haven't signed anyone except for AJ Pollock, which is amazing. Um, um, obviously, you could say Canley Jansen and Kershaw, but does that really count? Really, because they've been Dodgers for since they started. But yeah, the Dodgers have the best team in the National League um, by far now. I'm I'm keep stuttering and I keep stopping because I'm looking at this lineup and it's just my God, this lineup is looking fantastic. I mean, you got Monkey Betts, you got Cody Bellinger, you got AJ Pollock, you got Will Smith, you got Gavin Lux, um, Max Muncy. Justin Turner, um, who else is there? Uh, Chris Taylor, um, Kike Hernandez. Um, man, this team is um, this team is something else. Um, Corey Seager, man, I'm missing Corey Seager. Um, this team is on is going to be on another level than any other team. I mean, they're talking about their bullpen. Um, their bullpen is going to be Trinidad, um, Ruzar, um, Dustin May, Tony Gonsolin. Um, who who else? Who who else am I thinking of? Uh, Joe Kelly. Um, 
you know, this, their pitchers, Kershaw, Kenley Jansen, um, Alex Wood, Walker Bueller, David Price, um, Julio Urias, um, you know, this, this team is going to be, uh, one team. Now, do I expect them to win more games? No, no, I don't. I expect them to more be more of a relaxed team, so to speak, from last season. Um, they're going to be thinking about uh, the postseason more. They're probably going to get a lot of more rest. Um, but do I expect them to win a hundred games or get close to a hundred games? Yes, I do. Very much. I, I very much think that they're going to get close to a hundred, um, a hundred games just because of how good they are. They're they're more likely gonna. They're and I always say this that the hardest, the hardest way to get into World Series, you playing that guy in that five game series, so hard. So, so I always say this: if you're gonna get past that five game series, especially with the Dodgers, if the Dodgers get past that five game series, expect them to get to the World Series easy. Uh, and I, I'm gonna stay tr- through to that for this off season, and we'll see what happens in, se- in the regular season. But that's just what I wanted to do. I wanted to break down what happened um, and everything. You know, why the deal didn't happen. Why the deal happened like this. And everything about it. You know, the Dodgers are going to be awesome. The Yankees are going to be awesome. Can we see the Yankees and Dodgers make it to the World Series now? Do I believe so? Yes. Is it possible? Yes. Would it be? Would it feel right? I think, honestly, it would. The, the Yankees and Dodgers were both scammed of the championship from the Astros. So I think, you know, go toe-to-toe with each other and feel like who actually won the World Series. Who, who should be the World Series champion. And it, if they two both go meet, um, I'm actually going to have to go with the Dodgers on that one. Not just because I'm a Dodgers fan, just because um, I think that they're just a better lineup, and they're going to get better and better. The Yankees um, did have Garrett Cole, but that doesn't solve all their problems. It really doesn't. Uh, I don't have what the what's his name Tanaka. Sorry if I, that's not his name, but he's one hell of a pitcher. But um, you know those two guys aren't just going to solve your problem. Uh, Chapman is not the closer, even though he got a home run off of the cheating Astros. I still believe that. Anyone could hit Chapman. I mean, it lights out, boom, you're going to get him. I mean, the Mookie Bet, um, was it Mookie Bet to beat him? I'm sorry, Vlad almost beat him. Vlad, did you see that? Um, when Vlad hit, I believe 20, he got 20, um, 20 pitches. Um, Vlad got 20 pitches from Chapman, I believe, and he almost hit a ho- dinger on him. Um, and I'm talking about Vlad Jr. Uh, but yeah, um, this 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 Dodger team is gonna be one hell of a team. Um, if they were scary last season, if a lot of if a lot of teams, if the Nationals were the underdogs and they went all the way and won this, it's gonna be hard to count against the Dodgers this season. Just because I mean, you have the reigning MVP, you have the former MVP in Monkey Betts. Um, it, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. So I'll leave you guys at that. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I uploaded a video earlier. This is going to be the second video, but I really wanted to get this video out knowing that the Monkey Best trade is now confirmed. Love you guys.